Well, um, more than a conscious decision, I just try to come out and be aggressive. Um, you know, I'm one of the better scorers on the team, and if I'm not aggressive, I feel like I'm doing the team a disservice. So whether that's scoring or whether that's, you know, making aggressive plays to get people open, um, it's my duty to be aggressive at, at, the, at the very start of the game. Malcolm, you guys got a lot of production from the bench tonight. Is this one of the stronger benches, if not the strongest, since you've been here? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think our biggest strength this season, besides our defense, is our depth. I think we have multiple guards that can, you know, step in and play as well as starters. Um, and then I think we have bigs in rotation that can really play and that can really contribute as well. For both of you guys, um, close game, and then you guys just opened it up in the second half, it started with your defense. What was it that was kind of clicking? And, and did you sense as a player on the floor, like, OK, we're about to blow this thing open? Uh, you know, it, it, there is a feeling where you, where you start to realize that we can blow this thing open. But we, we focus um, you know, stop by stop. As, and when we get three stops in a row, we call it a gap. And you know, once we get one gap or two gaps, we know we're on a roll. And we know we can you know, um, sort of harness that energy and really let it carry over for the rest of the game. Uh, either one of you, uh, tough stretch there, four games in six days. Now you have five days off until you guys play Ohio State. Um, you know, are you looking re-energizing? What are you going to do in these five days, you know, to kind of re-energize and regroup? Mary, I'll let you go ahead. Um, just get back to, like, uh, practicing and practicing hard and just trying to uh, just make sure everything we got is going on, going well defensively and offensively, just working on our craft. No, just what he said. I think just um, – you know, keeping our keep keep working hard in practice. I think that's the key. Not get too high right now because we won a couple games because we're about to go through a hard stretch. So I think you know, mental preparing mentally for these for this next stretch is is the key. Malcolm, with all these new rules and guys aren't allowed to touch as much. A guy as strong as you, it looks like you're trying to drive a little more often. Maybe it, have you noticed a difference for your offensive game because of the you know, the hand checking rules and so forth? Uh, for sure. I think there's, I think it benefits both teams. I think it benefits other teams against us. Um, we play an aggressive physical pack line defense. So we have to, you know, adjust to the rules. But I think other teams have to adjust to the rules because, especially for me, I drive the ball a lot. And I don't think guys can, you know, hip check, hand check as much when I put the ball on the ground. So I think it's helped for sure. Back was 24 23. They're leading with a little under five minutes left in the first half. What do you think at that point? Just got to get stopped. Not, I mean, it's the first half. Um, we weren't playing specifically well, um, but it's our defense. It's not our offense. Uh, I don't think we were hitting shots, but I think our, our once we got stops, we were able to hit shots, and it was able to sort of translate to the other end. So, you know, we're not we're not a team that panics early on when we're down in the first half. Um, you know, we just try to get things going on defense. Tony talked a lot about um, developing, taking this time to develop good habits. Is there something that you guys think you worked on in Charlottesville, either mentally or on court, that you think that you're kind of working on getting into the habit of that you think is going to help down the line? <coughs> Charleston. That's what I meant. <laughs> um, we just try to get our identity back. Uh, we, get, we know we let one slip in um, at George Washington. We didn't play our best, uh, especially defensively. So we just try to get back to playing like uh, who we are. And just That's uh, uh, starting by our defense. Malcolm, Tony went into the year talking about wanting more from London offensively in terms of being aggressive, looking to score. Um, he seemed like he did it down in Charleston. What have you seen from that part of his game? Uh, definitely. I think he's really um, you know, stepped into a bigger role this year for us, um, being more aggressive, being more offensive minded, um, looking for a shot. And I think it's benefited us. Uh, tonight, his shots didn't fall as much, but I think he might have been in double figures for assists. So I think people at this point are realizing he can score. So I think he is a threat, and I think that opens him up to make great passes and get everybody else going. Mary, you obviously shot threes last year and shot them very well, but I don't remember that many corner threes. Is that something you specifically worked on because you're shooting those at a, at a really high clip? I'm just happy to get him uh, those open, open corner threes this year, so I'm just trying to um, knock them down as much shots I, as I can. Um, I worked on a lot of shots this summer, so just uh, playing well right now. How many, Malcolm, how many free throws will you shoot tomorrow? <laughs> Any more than usual? No, no. Free, shooting free throws is all mental. It's all mental. It's just a change in your mentality, how you think when you get to the line.